Welcome back YouTube. So we have completed the level 2 dungeon and it was a blast. So this is where we're going to start. We're going to start on the very bottom and then work our way up. So I do go pretty quickly on this. So if you need to pause it or rewind it, go ahead and do that. I, I do apologize for that in advance, but I try to make everything brief and quick for y'all. Okay, so this is the entrance of the dungeon here. All right, so notice this chest right here on the left. This chest, at this time, we cannot get it. Once we complete the the boss battle, we can go ahead and teleport back. So what we're gonna use here is we're gonna go ahead and use our magic powder. We're gonna light these two torches. So once we light these two torches, this door on our right is gonna open and just go ahead and walk through that. We do need to kill these two skeletons here. The green one jumps around a lot, so just be careful with that. So once we defeat these two enemies here, we will get a small key drop these small keys are used to open locked doors so we're gonna head right here make sure you hit this crystal here this brings down the platforms as you see here so on this next portion here you hit the crystals and it goes up and down you can use your shield right here once his sword hits your shield go ahead uh, it stuns him and you can attack him so this is a our second small key here and we are gonna go pretty quick through this because it was uh, actually very short it's tricky but if you don't know the mechanics it can be a little time-consuming so we just stepped on that circle platform there we hit the crystal so we have already three small keys so you're gonna jump over to this other platform and so this next enemy here there's really no uh, easy way to do it you have to kind of practice but you have to get them to turn around and you have to hit them with your sword so that once you kill those two enemies you do get the small key dropped on the other side make sure to hit the crystal and jump over back so we're pretty much now heading back to where we started okay so we already have four keys and less than really two three minutes okay so make sure you hit that crystal okay that's key so it can drop this uh, platform right there okay so now we're heading back to where we originally started but we're going to take a left and use our small key to go ahead and open this door just be careful here on this next area there is blades and bats so this can be a little um a little tedious once you kill these bats um honestly and truly you don't really need to do anything in this um besides kill the bats you don't really need to use the torches you can do it if you need the lighting and I recommend on this part you go ahead and jump across the platform as soon as possible because that enemy will block you from jumping over and it will just keep bumping you off and it gets really really tedious so there is torches here you can use your powder to light them but it really doesn't do anything special it doesn't unlock a secret path or anything like that so we are gonna go back to the original path that we were on we are gonna head back to the room where the skulls are at once we're in there there is a door that we can unlock with the small key so we still have three remaining so after this we will have two remaining okay so i recommend following my path here to destroy this enemy okay so now defeating him this presents a chest and this chest contains the compass what the compass is used for is to locate treasure nearby and the nightmare keys you will get a little uh, sound notification on the top right of your screen and you can also see the little compass. So go ahead and hit that crystal. Hit this crystal here. We are going to jump over the platforms here. Hit this crystal again. Jump over. So we are pretty much done with that portion of the dungeon and we are going to head towards the next portion now. So you can use your shield here to block him. Use your shield, block him, flip him over, and attack him with your sword. Use your small key to open that door, so we have one remaining. This area, all you gotta do is move these uh, boulders over to the side. No special abilities needed, just go ahead and push it. This will unlock some stairs right here on the top right, as you see. Okay, so while we do this little path here, I did go through everything. I did destroy every base possible and went through every inch of the dungeon so you wouldn't miss anything. So if you're doing something and you think you need to complete everything, like light all these torches or destroy all the bases, you're really not missing anything. 
I know there's one base that contains a fairy, but it's really not too crucial. So this here is a mini boss here for this um, dungeon here. So what I recommend you is just continue to move, just continue to move. And once you see him try to grasp you, you're going to go ahead and attack. So notice that he did that and you can hit him several times. Just don't get too um, close to him. And I recommend just continue moving. Don't stop moving at all. And just be careful because those platforms do break. So once we defeat this enemy here, it's going to spawn this portal here. This portal is going to take us to the entrance. It's pretty much a checkpoint before the boss. On this part here, there is this enemy that sucks us into his little vortex. So you can go ahead and destroy him if you like. You can jump over and hit him with your sword. Or you can just avoid it. This treasure chest here contains the dungeon map. So we're going to head over to the next room. There's two bats here and a treasure chest. This treasure chest contains 20 rupees. So right here to our left is a small door. We're going to use a small key. Well, technically it's not a small door. It's just a locked door. So we're going to use our small key here. So now we have zero remaining. So on this portion here, you need to go ahead and use your powder to go ahead and light the torch there and kill the ghost. You can only... You can... You don't have to kill both of them, but you can if you like. I did like the torch there, so you can see an example that it doesn't unlock anything. So we just right now obtained the power bracelet. This is the, gives us the ability to lift the bases and stones and move the stones. So just be careful about throwing these. You are limited. You can go back to this area and redo it, but see there? If you throw it at an angle, you won't be able to hit it, so don't be discouraged. So now that... Adjusted the platform, so we're gonna jump over and get our last and final small key. So we are coming to an end. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the crystal here and come towards this area here. So the next part that we're gonna encounter right now is pretty tricky because you need to kill enemies in a certain pattern. So there's gonna be a bunny, a bat, and a skull. So first you gotta kill the bunny, then the bat, and then the scopes. And you're gonna have to use move these platforms here that I'm gonna move here so you can get access to the bunny. So you're gonna pick up a vase and this is the only way you can destroy the bunny. So just be cautious, sometimes it just doesn't register correctly. So there, there's the bunny and then there is the bat and now we're gonna work on the scope. Make sure you do it in the correct order. If you do it in the incorrect order, you'll get a little error notification, more like a sound. Once you complete this objective, there is a chest right here on the right. This chest contains the nightmare key. This key is used to access the room where the boss is located. So right here on our left, there is a stairway that we can go up. This path here takes us back to mid portion of the dungeon and it contains an owl with a hint on how to complete the room that we were just in. So it pretty much just states that you need to kill the bunny first and then the, the skull at the end. All right, so this is the room where we were at and the, you can notice the owl right there on the top right. So we're just gonna go back to the area that we were originally at. Okay, so we're going to use our last small key right here. Once you clear all the enemies here, there is some stairs that are going to appear. So go ahead and destroy these enemies. There is a fairy on the right side portion of the pots. So at this time, if you need a fairy for any reason, there is some in those pots there. So on this objective here, you're just going to go ahead and get a pot and step on this platform here it'll make your weight heavy enough to go all the way down okay so now this is the final room and right before the boss so you're going to use your nightmare key open it up and i'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch the mechanic and enjoy this
So on this portion I do recommend that you just go ahead and continue the move. So what you're going to have to do here is go ahead and lift it and then throw the jar towards the wall. Make sure you hit the wall. So you can't run left to right or right to left. Just make sure you continue moving. That is the key here. So you're going to lift it throw against the wall. So you're going to do this three times. You don't need to charge your sword, I just do it. Okay, so you can just stand in the middle, the ghost can go over you and they will not hurt you. So once he throws his firebox, just go ahead and jump and attack with your sword. as well. Don't forget that you need to get the chest on the very bottom at the end. So remember we are going to go back to the swamp here and this is, this is the last treasure chest here so just go ahead and lift these here and get your treasure. So this treasure contains 50 rupees. So YouTube that is it. We have completed dungeon number 2. I am currently working on dungeon number 3 and how to get to the dungeon so um, stay posted. If this video helped you go ahead and like and subscribe. Until next time YouTube.